Previously on The Potentialists. A little collection of all the community service that we've done throughout the years. I started Adkin. Looks like I came out the right. We're about to do the cleansing tea. They would like to poop. Got all bathrooms bacon? Oh, it doesn't taste bad. Don't fart, because you will not fart. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. We're going to do a bit of an intervention here. Yeah, we need LJ. We've invited you all here, because we're going to do an intervention. Got a lot of anger going on around here. Any angry people that I know about around here? Oh, you think I'm angry? No, I'm not angry. Why would you write about anger? Just what I observed this morning. Who did you observe angry? Bert? Did you really? Mm, kind of saw that way. So, why? Okay. Did the tweet start all this? Don't start your day angry after having a confrontation with Bert. Uh, oh, so then he blew you off, so you got mad and you I didn't get mad. Him. There was no point in this so morning. You I was were, mad. So then you were happy that he blew you off. I didn't let it bother me. Well, guess what? We're gonna use some of that anger if you have or whatever. And you know what I do when I'm angry? What if huh? I'm not angry? If you, if you weren't angry, you wouldn't have put angry. an anger quote on Twitter. I, and you wouldn't have taken I, off I at 7.30 in the angry. morning without the whole team. Your working out team. They were late. They were You're late every freaking day. I'm well, trying to change that. So you take off on people? Tell me what happened this morning with the working out. Oh no, we're supposed to leave at 7. I woke up at 7, it was up, so I waited because usually Bert comes like at 7.15. Then I woke up Miles like at 7.30 and I called Bert. He said he was coming down and then I waited until like a little bit before eight and he was about to run so I'm like forget it I'll just run to the gym so ran to okay. the gym and you didn't tell anybody you just left yes okay but what was the reasoning behind I'm curious didn't want to be late <laughs> didn't want to be late for what? <laughs> he's late every freaking day I wasn't day. late today and I wasn't <laughs> every day he yesterday is late. I wasn't late and today I wasn't late let me explain something to you. I've been entrusted and put in the way of all these things. I chose to step up and do it in order to change you because we all need changing. And you've seen what I've gone through. Yeah, I hope you've seen the level of scrutiny that I've been under, the level of them just whooping me. And I'm 48 years old. I can tell all of them basically to stuff it and leave. But I choose not to because they're doing it for my betterment. Then you come around. How old are you now? 20. 20 years old. How old is Bert? In his 40s? The Mac Daddy of the organization, like the CEO. You just basically spit in his face and then you put it publicly that he's a to his face and then you called him a I didn't excuse put publicly that he's excuse a me. dick. Excuse me. That's incorrect. Excuse me. Let me finish and I'll let you speak whatever you want. If you're angry, I got a way to get all the anger out of you. That's just that I'm not angry. But obviously you are, but you're pissing me off now. The tuna, you know who the tuna is? That's uh, Coach Parcells from the Giants. One season, the number one pick that he had, his best freaking running back, fumbled the ball once in a preseason game at seven yards from the, from the goal line. That afternoon he was gone because he refused to have one person be a freaking drain on the, on the team. Now you tell me how much time have I, I personally spent with you, talking to you, saying, listen, bro, this is how men act. I think I've been very, very fair to you. Would you agree with that? Yes. Have I not addressed the subject specifically relating to Bert? Our CEO, the guy who brings in everything, the man that we have to support so that he's able to do his thing so that we can do our thing. Does that make any sense to you? Yes. You're f***ing that up. You are completely f***ing that up by the energy you keep bringing in and by the amount of time you're making me waste now. I don't want to waste time with you anymore. You want to know why? My pockets are dry, I gotta fill them, and you're taking me away from doing what I need to do right now. Talking to people that can impact my pocket and the rest of the people around here, including you. You're preventing me from making you a very rich man. I refuse to do that anymore. Last time I speak to you, last time I ever offer any sort of advice to you, that's all I gotta say. You know what you did, I know what you did. You ain't that stupid. You're a lot smarter than that. You wasted my time again, and now it's money you're costing me, and I refuse to let you cost me a freaking single dollar for your time. So on that note, I bid you adieu. Just keep him touching us all, man. You don't have one freaking humble bone in your body. You're an arrogant little Come on, girl. Stay safe. Now, as one of the more objective people in our group that I always love talking to, what do you think about everything that went on with LJ this morning? Do you think I was a little too harsh? I don't know. 
The problem is any one of the incidents, if you take it by itself, it looks like you're being too harsh. It looks like, you know, that you're just beating up this poor kid. Well, that's just it. This has not been just a one incident. But then when you take everything together, it's like, damn, man, learn. She's seen the light. What do I see? Uh, many times you have to be a little bit tough to be able to let them see the light. Many times we put things out there without thinking. It affects everybody that surrounds you. So the world that we live in is very different when we were growing up. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?